Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. Friends, in this video, we are going to learn about Dyson bladeless fan. How does it works? Its principle and the applications. This particular bladeless fan, it is a fan only, but having no blades. This particular bladeless fan, we can also known as the air multiplier. It multiplies the air. It gives the smooth flow of air. That is the continuous flow of the air. but without blades there is a difference in between this uh, the conventional design and this design that is the bladeless design well if you look at the appearance okay it is having you know a futuristic kind of a look and this one is the conventional which we don't like as usual this particular bladeless fan ejects the air in a very streamlined direction a very smooth flow you are getting a very smooth and laminar flow of air you are getting in this kind of the bladeless fan but over here in the conventional fan the air flow will looks like this the air flow will be the intermittent kind of the air flow but over here in this a bladeless less fan the air flow is very very smooth and a continuous kind of the air flow also over here in this fan there is uh, you know dust formation will occur that is the electrostatic dust formation will occur but here in this uh, uh, bladeless fan there is no dust formation because uh, you know uh, the design itself is very much that way simpler so let's look at the design like how does this air multiplier how does this uh, bladeless fan it's work so if we look at over here this is nothing but the cross section of this bladeless fan this is the bladeless fan if we cut from this portion okay it will look like this over here the air flow air will go from this portion air intake the air will be get sucked inside from this it is having a brushless motor and uh, okay a brushless motor is connected to the shaft and over here it looks like a generator kind of the thing over here at the bottom side you can see this is the motor that is the brushless motor why the brushless motor to reduce the noise well uh, in the conventional brush motor there is a brush so over here this is the brush that is the nothing but the carbon brushes are there and just because of the carbon brushes there is lot of noise in this uh, uh, motors so in the brushless motors the carbon brushes has been removed so the there is no chance of the you know noise formation so it propels this uh, slit also we can call it as a, it looks like a turbine basically so the air is having you know air gets pressurized over here and in this particular point in this particular point air is having the higher pressure and the higher velocity this air flows through this flows through this flows through this and then it comes to this point now this point is the real game changer friends over here what happens this is the arrangement it looks like an air foil arrangement the shape itself so the air particles the air particles are coming from this side okay air particles are coming from this side so moving uh, um, from this side air particles so just because of the bernoulli's principle okay so whenever there is a reduction in the area the velocity will increase the flow will increase so over here the very narrow opening is there and from this narrow opening the air is pulled out at a higher rate higher flow rate higher velocity so the air which is coming out from the here this point having the higher velocity and this higher velocity air gets thrown out but over here another effect is gets formed that is nothing but the conda effect the air which is coming out from this point this air will move in accordance with the shape of this uh, you know internal wall of the blade so the in order to understand this conda effect very very in a detail manner let's have a look at this image so water is flowing across this curvature and water like water is not separating from this uh, uh, okay from this thing the water is 
flow fl uh, water is flowing along with this curvature so the conda effect is nothing but the action in the fluid mechanics whereby a flow along a solid surface tends to follow the curvature of the surface rather than separating so over here the same conda effect occurs over here if the air particles they are tend to follow the shape of the uh, air foil the shape of the air foil and the conda effect is there so friends what happens exactly over here conda effect okay we can see in this portion bernoulli's effect over here okay and over here friends this particular zone this particular zone is having the higher pressure zone higher pressure zone this zone okay and alongside with that this this is low pressure this is low pressure so in order to ma maintain the balance okay the this air will started flowing in this direction this air will started flowing so the air will started flowing from this way. so this is the high pressure region and this is the low pressure region so over here the air gets multiplied 15 times so which is a very very on the higher side so this particular bladeless fan actually it actually produces a lot of air than that of the conventional fan so the design itself is very very simple and uh, it it implements uh, you know a lot of the uh, flow fluid mechanics in this simple design also friends this airfoil design it is also used in the aerodynamics the wings of the airplane ha having the same cross section this same engineering is implemented in this bladeless fan so friends tell me in the comments what you think about this particular simple bladeless fan i hope you like my video if you having any queries any doubts please feel free to comment and please subscribe to my educational channel Junas academy thank you friends